greetings uh, to our dear organizers MT2021 and also our dear esteemed and respected assessors and judges for today. My name is Sean uh, and the technology that we are going to actually uh, present today is called TowerSense, uh, a structural health monitoring system for telecommunication towers in Malaysia. Uh, and just to preempt at the very up, up front, uh, this is actually a commercial technology, uh, commercial level technology that is already being done with our partners from Maxis Broadband, Sendian Berhad. And uh, currently what we are doing right now is on a uh, commercial basis on uh, assets for telecommunication towers in Malaysia. So before we start, I'd, I'd like to give you a bit of a background. Uh, if you look at telecommunication towers in Malaysia as a structural engineering or structural asset uh, to the owners, in this case uh, Maxis for example, or could be any teleco telco operator in Malaysia, uh, they, they have quite a huge number of telecommunication towers in Malaysia. In combined number, they look at about 80,000 towers in Malaysia. And to inspect the structural components uh, over a period of time, especially on an annual basis, when you divide 80,000 divided by 365 days, that's quite a huge number of assets that you have to pre pretty much maintain, inspect, and then if there is a problem, you need to repair them. And uh, it's very laborious, as you can see in the slides. Uh, it's laborious, it's expensive. Uh, it, if you are lucky and it's in an urban environment, it's cheaper to do. If it's out of town, it's more expensive to do. And if it's out of town and in an ex inaccessible like location where where uh, you know it's tough to get there, you can only imagine how much more it will cost. And of, obviously, along the way, when when there is catastrophic failures of these structures, which do happen from time to time due to extreme wind conditions, storm conditions, failure of soil, uh, not part of the design they can result in disruptions and network knockouts which can be detrimental to the service level of the network altogether. So what we've done actually is to put together a system that actually consists of structural sensory arrays as you can see in the slides uh, that is integrated over a software platform that includes uh, expert decision systems or basically data analytics on the structural condition of the platform of, this, uh, of the uh, structure in real time based on the data that is being fed in in real time from the sensors so how do we do this all in all so what we do is again in this slide what we, we would like to show you is we deploy assets on the structural asset we analyze the data convert the data from the sensors into engineering information and that engineering information is used to trigger our digital twin which is basically a structural solver or basically a structural analysis tool in the background and it provides real-time condition and telling you what is the condition of your structure after an event ha has happened so after there's a storm condition if there's a failure in the soil you will know what is this the condition of my structure and this is very different from when we call manual operations if you look at manual manual operations you send an inspector you see a crack you see a dented member next question is yes is it, there's a de dented member but how does it influence the remaining life of the structure how does it influence the performance of the structure or the integrity of the structure and that requires someone to go back to office bring that data back to a consultant hire a consultant do the analysis and then finally tell you that hey yes you have a structural damage on your structure that you need to repair now or maybe you have structural damage but not negligible but by that time a lot of time has passed and a lot of effort has gone by uh, to, to find out the decision when with our system tower sense it should be able to tell you within minutes of the incident happening as to whether you need to send an inspection team or a repair team to actually solve and you know, for, do further inspection for recommendations on repair and that huge saves a huge amount of, of, of headache actually from the asset operators number two you're also looking at the possibility of people or inspectors going periodically to site to find out whether there is a requirement for them to actually do inspection works uh, to detect any anomalies in the structure and it's really depend on your luck if you go there and you detect a damage good for you you've detected a damage once every two three years but when the damage occurred between the one two two to three years and there's a propagation of the damage you won't know until your inspectors tell you that during the inspection interval they find something over there and there's time loss and that could there is a, a what we call damage or deterioration that could have been arrested from the beginning when it was detected rather than two three years later when the inspection took place uh, and number two sometimes you also have inspectors that go there and find no damage and, and that's quite normal you, you you're hoping most of the time you don't find any damage but nonetheless time and resources and money has already been sunk into actually inspecting these facilities. So what we are proposing is by having all these facilities on site, these sensory arrays together with expert decision system and structural a digital twin that is embedded with a structural engineering solver, be able to tell the 
structural engineering condition of the structure at any one time uh, in real time and the fact that this is on a telecommunication tower you obviously communication is not a problem you can always piggyback on the protocols so moving back uh, we have actually uh, at UTP together with support of Maxis, very close support of Maxis have developed a commercial system and it is actually being uh, hosted on uh, we have commercial grade sensors, we have uh, servers that we have in real uh, uh, in operation in in uh, UTP at the moment, our university uh, and we actually provide cloud-based, web-based uh, sort of user interface and a friendly user interface for our um, asset operators to interface with so that they can be accessed anywhere anytime using emails using your web browser using your chrome on your android or, or your safari on your I I ios uh, in order to access the condition of the structure and that that is a huge uh, amount of hassle that has been removed from the equation uh, along the way we have actually filed a copyright on the system and uh, to date uh, we actually are looking at developing and strengthening further the competitive edge of the technology uh, by actually uh, developing, you know, uh, uh, what we call an edge over our competitors. If you look at competitors in the market, there are not that many of them in the market, to be honest. Um, in fact, if you look at data analytics altogether, uh, there are a lot of instrument providers, but very few who are in the business of actually providing the interpretation and predictive analytics. So we are moving away from time-based inspection to condition-based inspection based on data analytics. Uh, we provide autonomous communication, uh, real-time communication direct to the asset operators and it allows you to find out only uh, when damage has occurred, only when significant problems has happened before you trigger any sort of inspection works. All right? uh, and obviously this is now, uh, at, at, again as I mentioned, is already done at the commercial level with Maxis. Uh, and we are doing the testing on one of the sites at Selangor at the moment and in 2021 we are expected to actually scale up to 50 uh, structures altogether in the Klang Valley and that's quite a big big move for us uh, on the commercial side of things and you know uh, I think uh, without going further into details of this slide uh, basically we're looking at monitoring one of these uh, tripod towers uh, and to assess the real-time damage as you can see on the right hand side is our digital twin model of the tower so as the damage occurs on the structure the sensors will pick it up they will highlight the damage as they occur on the facility all right so this this technology is not uh, what we call uh, 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 what we call uh, a new technology uh, that we have developed uh, in fact this is actually a spin-off from an older technology that we have developed from from UTP in the past uh, called Poseidon technology which was deployed in offshore structures uh, so we are actually one of the pioneers of developing this technology in the region. In fact, uh, Poseidon was responsible for a gold award in MTE in 2020 as well. So now we are extending this technology over now to the Tower Sense uh, in this 2021 edition. And it has been a huge success in the offshore. Uh, in fact, this has gone fully commercial for Poseidon business altogether uh, and is now operated as a full commercial entity. Right, uh, and of course, when you look at the spread of assets, as I mentioned earlier, we are looking at eighty thousand towers in Malaysia alone. Um, Twenty-two thousand of them are cellular towers, and, you know, and this year alone, we are looking at fifty towers for future deployment. Uh, if you are looking at the possibility of other markets, I think it's very, very potent. Uh, we, you know, being the fact that this is a structural uh, solution. It not only can be applied on on Maxis assets on on telco assets. Sorry, to be to be more general, it can be applied on any assets which require uh, which is a structure altogether. I'll give you an example. TNB has a lot of transmission towers. Number one, number two, JKR has a lot of bridges in Malaysia under asset uh, management under their current asset management at the moment. So basically, anyone who owns structural assets on a large scale basis can benefit from a huge shift in digitalization of their assets altogether, and that results in cost aversion. Uh, you avoid catastrophic failures, they warn you before catastrophic failures happen. They result in cost compression because you only need to inspect when there is a problem. You don't inspect because there is a time requirement on it. And of course, there's a cost deferment. You, only def you can defer your, your inspection intervals when there is no damage detected. Alright, so with that, I, 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 I put an end to my, uh, my presentation and uh, you know just like to, to uh, end my parting comments uh, with uh, our commercial and also our technical positioning of the technology. Thank you very much.